Hey everybody, it is King Retro 1985 right here um on YouTube and um uh, you know, I just got done right here looking um at the Ubisoft press conference on G4. And uh, you know, you know I figured mm, it hit me right midway through the conference I was like maybe I have a YouTube channel. It's my YouTube channel. It's my corner of the internet. I'll put whatever I want to. Maybe I'll post something. I'll post my thoughts on E3 because, you know, everybody else is going to be doing it. And uh, maybe someone will listen. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so right now I have uh, nothing up, just me and the sound recorder going up. Kind of weird because, you know, anytime I put the sound recorder up, I'm usually doing some commentary, post or live commentary. Um, but now it's just nothing. I don't know. Maybe I'll put some footage of Halo. Anyway, my thoughts on the Microsoft press conference first of all first thought um wow it was different seeing it being covered from spike tv because uh last week i was looking for it <clears throat> and i was looking through the you know g4 schedule and i couldn't find the microsoft press conference and it shocked me because i was like okay where the hell is microsoft there's ubisoft and sony and i was like okay ubisoft is new uh, that's cool and you know usually it's microsoft and sony but now it's ubisoft and sony and then tomorrow is nintendo and then I was like, well, where the hell is the Microsoft press conference? And uh, took to the good old internet, the good old Google Chrome, and uh, typed in Microsoft press conference televised. And then uh, I found out it was going to be right there on the uh, game trailers. And that's uh, kind of shocking. You know, it's going to be on Spike TV and not G4 TV. And uh, I don't know why that threw me off, but uh, that doesn't matter. So the Microsoft press conference um, was shown on and broadcast live. Um, on Spike TV instead of G4. I keep on saying um, I don't know why. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but anyway, on to the press conference itself. Um, you know, it, it was a very good. Uh, no, no. It. I, I. I liked it because I'm a sucker for press conferences. I don't know why. It's just like when it comes to Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony, they could throw crap out there, like Nintendo did, like in 2008 or seven with the. The Vitality Sensor, and, uh, sorry, maybe a little bit racist with the fake Japanese accent, but, you know, how Nintendo had that horrible press conference with the Vitality Sensor, they had the We Speak and Animal Crossing, um, that press conference was horrible, but I walked away and I was like, oh yeah, that, that's pretty cool stuff. So, when it comes to E3, I'm a huge fan of E3, when it comes to press conferences, um, they could be crap, and I don't care... <coughs> who's doing it, Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, but I just, I walk away at at, at, at at the end of each press conference, no matter what company, but I walk away always satisfied, and, you know, hardcore people don't like, like, uh, they did, they're probably not going to like Microsoft uh, after this year's E3 press conference, and they probably, they were let down, or Microsoft failed, or Mi Microsoft lost E3 because They've had a crappy press conference last year and same as this year. Um, so for those of you who missed it, um, I don't know why you missed it. Shame on you. But <laughs> just a quick review or a long-winded review. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to talk. I'm going to try to remember as much as I can. Um, I just got finished watching the Ubisoft. So Ubisoft is fresh in my mind and Microsoft is kind of out of it. But I do remember the good stuff from Microsoft and um, Spike TV. Once again, they presented the press conference. And when they went live to the press conference, what happened, funny, this must be a running gag or an inside joke between everybody at Microsoft because they show the black screen and then we fade in and we're underwater and there's four guys and we're the fifth guy and we're following this other guy and we're, it looks like we're scuba diving and we have all this gear on and we can breathe and we're underwater and boop, bleep, bloop. Reconnect control. I swear, it, it's like happened so many times at Microsoft press conferences. It, it I don't know. It, it, it must be a running gag. Like every single press conference they have, Microsoft must be. Oh yeah, guys, we have to have. Um, please reconnect your control so everybody can laugh. So um, yeah, that was that. That way to start off the press conference. You know, they showed off the scuba team, and then please reconnect your control. And aside from that. <laughs> As we find out, these uh, four guys who are scuba diving, they're going in 
and they're going deeper and deeper into the water, and then they go into a they're going into a tunnel, and the tunnel it has cars in it, and they keep on going further along the tu tunnel, and it's like, whoa, what is this? Yes, this is a uh, this is Modern Warfare Three, and then you know they submerge, they emerge, sorry, not submerge, they emerge from water. And they're attacking a submarine. Oh, hold on, I'm not explaining right, but, um, what the hell am I trying to say? They were swimming along inside a water-filled tunnel. Um, a submarine shot over all five of these guys, and they're like, Stay still, stay still, don't move, nobody make a move. Nobody whisper, nobody say a goddamn word. And then all of a sudden you can play as a character, and he gets on the fin, or the rudder, I don't know much about submarines, but he gets on the back end of the submarine, he plants a bomb to it, and I guess somebody does it on another part of the submarine, and they swim away, and they're like, "Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here!" And then, dee -dee -dee -dee, <laughs> boom! Like the submarine is just exploding, and then it like swims up to the top. And all these guys, the the squad that we're in, they swim up to the top. And lo, yeah, it is. It's Modern Warfare Three. They show the beautiful scenery of New York. It's it's destroyed. Everything's on fire. There's holes in the buildings. Missiles coming down, and they the guys that were now swimming, they're now on top of the submarine, and they're fighting their way inside the submarine, and it's just pure badass. It, it's really awesome. Um, so Microsoft, way to do a badass intro to your press conference. I like your running joke of the please reconnect to control. I loved how you showed Modern Warfare 3. I loved <laughs> how um. I think the connect is getting hardcore, <laughs> or they're making it for hardcore gamers because um, now in Mass Effect 3 on the Xbox 360, you can use the connect and uh, remember in the tree um, choices, the branching choices that we could always pick. Well, we'd have to move the joystick, right? Well, now with the connect, you can just simply read off the choice and it'll automatically select it for you. And it was pretty badass. I mean, the guy who was demonstrating it, there was there was a shepherd was rescuing this lost Krogan and um, the Krogan was talking to Shepard and was like are you here to kill me and then what I forgot what the guy said but uh, he was like uh, no what why would I do that or something like that and then the the choice was highlighted for him the connect picked it up and the choice was made inside the game and I was like that is that's pure badass I don't care if connect is used as little features like that but now I want to play Mass Effect 3 on the Xbox 360 I've always wanted to play. I'm not. I'm not gonna switch over to the PlayStation Network because I still have Mass Effect One and Two data. Well, not Mass Effect Two, but I have Mass Effect data on my hard drive from my 360. So of course, I'm gonna finish the trilogy on the 360. But you know, wow, that was pretty cool. Way a good way to use a Connect and um, the Connect again with uh, what was that? Tom Clancy Ghost Recon. <clears throat> okay, there's a guy. He was demonstrating all the weapons in Tom Clancy, and he was like. Uh, you can customize virtually every weapon we want you to customize, and uh, you can even do it with the Connect. And he showed off the customization for the Connect, and he was like, uh, uh, what do you say? He said, Xbox, uh, a range, long range weapon. And then the game, like, made him a weapon with a scope on it and an underbarrel so he could shoot grenades, I, I guess. Um, and it was pretty badass. And then he said, um, Xbox, short range weapon and then it made a compact small weapon that's used for short range you know what I'm saying and and not only that but he was like uh he had a gas I guess a gas grenade on the gun and he was like Xbox uh gas and then they took him to the gases and they were like you know flashbang poisonous gas or whatever and so all these features are that you can now make your gun just by talking to your Xbox and that to me was badass. And not only that, not only that, but, but, this is the thing that stole the show for me. Um, actual gameplay using the Kinect, which I thought was just pure badass. He was crouched down, kind of like how Silent Snake is. You know, you play Metal Gear and you see Silent Snake, he's running around, but he's not fully erect, standing up. He's not like full out blown running, so he's kind of crouched down. His knees are kind of bent. He kind of looks like he's playing defense <laughs> on a basketball. Like like in, like in a game of basketball, you know how you would play defense, you know, knees bent, arms out. Okay, that's how the guy was. He was demonstrating the Ghost Recon like that, and uh, 
He put his hand in the air. And I'm not going to explain this, but we've all seen military shooters in movies and games. And they did like, um, like he was pulling down on the chain. And uh, the the guy was firing. Like he had his hand up. Okay, take your left hand up and put it up. And uh, yeah, like you're like you're, like you're waving goodbye to someone. Okay, the guy had his hand like that, and he was he clenched his hand, and every single time he opened and clenched his hand, the character on screen, the connector would pick it up, and the character on screen would be shooting. And then he pulled, like he was pulling the chain down, and then the guy on screen reloaded, and then the guy on stage he went behind his back and was pulling something out, and then the connect picked it up, and the character on uh, in the game. He, uh, I guess he grabbed a grenade or something like that. And I was like, wow, that, that is pretty cool. Other than that, that, that's really for all you hardcore gamers on the Xbox. You know, they showed that, uh, Mass Effect. <coughs> we already talked about Mass Effect, and they showed, of course, Gears of War. And now, <coughs> I didn't know. <coughs> Sorry, got a bad cough. Um, Ice T apparently is gonna be in the game. He's gonna be. I don't know who he's going to be, but him and Cliffy B were playing Gears of War together. And it, I don't know if they were Ice-T was really playing, or if it was Cliffy B and somebody in the back playing as, so they make it look like Ice-T was playing. Because um, all I saw was the single player. I saw Cliff, I saw his hands or his thumbs move, and then they showed on screen uh, Marcus was moving. And I don't know if they showed Ice-T playing at all, but... Cliff didn't have, like, a bad time. They weren't resetting the game. You know, I probably all rehearsed or faked or whatever. But, you know, Ice-T, his presence was known. He's going to be in the game. And at the end of the press conference, I, I, I asked my brother, I was like, okay, what do you think? He goes, ah, oh, Microsoft, they failed me again. And I was like, how could they fail you? They, they have Mass Effect. They have Ghost Recon. Whatever the hell that game is called, and they had um, jeez, I forgot. Gears of War three. Uh, I don't know what it is about people that say, "Oh, Microsoft failed me." I enjoyed what they had. Oh, uh, apparently all the Xbox users were gonna get a new dashboard in the fall. It's gonna be now more Connect friendly. Uh, of course, this is Microsoft, so they had a lot of stuff to do with Connect. Um. You can now speak to your Connect and say, Connect, games, and it'll go to the game section. Oh, 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 and the new thing uh, Microsoft is doing is, uh, uh, Microsoft has now put in the Bing search bar, powered by Google. Haha, <laughs> I'm just playing. But they put in the Microsoft, the Bing search bar into your Connect. So now if you're on Xbox Live, and you know, you with your girl, and your girl, you can tell, like, you can tell your sexy little mama, hey, pick a movie, and it should be like, hmm. Xbox Harry Potter and then it'll probably run Netflix and bring up all the Harry Potter movies and you can pick one so you know using the connect to navigate to the dashboard to me pretty cool I enjoyed it I enjoyed um, the, the girl on stage she was using the search bar and she was like Xbox Lego Star Wars and it brought up all these Lego Star Wars games and I don't know if it's possible but they didn't make her like play it but I'm assuming that if you want to say Xbox Lego Star Wars, Bing will search it for you, and then if you don't have it, you can buy it, and you can probably say Xbox buy Lego Star Wars Episode 1 through 3, and you could probably buy it, and then you could probably Xbox play Lego Star Wars Episode 1 through 3, and then play it. That's not what they showed off, but I'm assuming, you know, because Microsoft wants you to use Connect, they're not just going to make you navigate and not be able to access. They're like, oh, grab your control, push the button yourself. No, 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 no. Um, I really loved it. The Connect. I really loved what the they had for the hardcore gamers, the casual gamers. Um, what I didn't like was the uh, the kiddie stuff. I guess because I don't have kids. I'm not a kid. I'm 21 year old man. <coughs> um, I got some nieces and nephews, but I rarely see them. So, um, yeah, kitty games. Tim Schafer of Double Fine, the awesome man who made Psychonauts, Costume Quest. Uh, those are the only two games that I know of him. <laughs> uh, he's making a Sesame Street game 
And, you know, he had a uh, father and son. They were on stage demonstrating Sesame Street, using the Connect. You know, I thought that was pretty cool. And I really like how Microsoft has... Uh, the Xbox now, for them, has become an entertainment box. It's no longer just about playing games for Microsoft. You can play games. You can watch movies. You can listen to music. You can even watch live TV now. And, and you can even watch your YouTube videos now. As if the Facebook and Twitter wasn't enough, Microsoft, I think, I'm assuming, because they said it on stage, they're like, we made a deal, now you can have all your original content on YouTube. So, assuming it works with Connect, you could probably say Connect, YouTube, and then YouTube will pop up on your Xbox, and you can use it on the TV screen. So, now you can watch Only Use Me Blade kick ass, and you don't even have to move, just Xbox, turn on, Xbox, YouTube, Xbox only using the blade, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, back to what I was saying was my Microsoft is now an entertainment console. Their console is like an all for one. Their console is for everyone. If you have a 15 year old, an 18 year old brother and brother, brother and sister, don't care. They can play Call of Duty. They can play their games. They can play Gears of War. They can play Mass Effect. And if you have um, a four-year-old niece, nephew, son, or daughter, now they can use Connect and they can go to play Sesame Street games. They can play Connect Sports Part Two, Season Two. I'm sorry, Season Two. Um. So you know, Microsoft is now a mixed bag. Now you can even watch live TV using the Xbox console. I love it. I know probably some of you hardcore guys are, no, no, where's my Xbox? It's my Xbox. It's my machine. I want it. I just want I just want to shoot people in the face and blow people up with my grenades. I don't care. I want to go 50 and 0. I want to go 88 and 2. I want to set Call of Duty records just by talking for an hour. You know, well, Microsoft, you know, they're in the business of making money. They have this awesome computer, the Xbox 360 thing going on right here, it's a console, it plays games, plays movies, gets on the internet, you can access Facebook and Twitter, now you can access YouTube, so it's pretty badass, overall with the press Microsoft press conference, I loved it, I enjoyed it, I don't know about what you guys think, tell me what you think, tell me what you like, tell me what you love, tell me what you hated, if uh, you're saying King Retro, you're stupid, well then please tell me that. <laughs> But, yeah, I enjoyed what I saw at Microsoft. I enjoyed what I saw at Ubisoft. I'm not going to say anything about Ubisoft um, other than just watch the trailers or go to Game Trailers TV. And you can watch the Ubisoft press conference um, probably for yourself. Or I'm pretty sure it's going to be uploaded to YouTube anyway. Um, but, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow and Wednesday. With the Sony and Nintendo, my thoughts on the Sony and Nintendo press conference. For anyone who's interested, I'll probably link all these videos, all, all of them together. And then, uh, yeah. So, for any of you out there, out in E3, I'm going to say, y'all are some lucky bastards. Y'all get to be at E3 and deal with all those awesome games. I really wanted to be at E3, but I can't because I don't work for the press. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. I have a real bad cough, sore throat, just recovering. But enough of that. We're here for the games and not for King Retro's personal life and his soapbox. So, overall, thanks for listening. Thanks for your time. This has been a very long segment and there's no video game footage. Uh, but, yeah. Thanks for, for, for everything. Thanks for listening to my rambling. And uh, Microsoft Press Conference. Microsoft, you guys did good. You guys did awesome. I really love you. And don't worry about your hardcore gamers. They're going to be there no matter what. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Halo 4 is out from, you know, Xbox. It's going to be a new trilogy made by 343 Studios. So, yeah. Way to Microsoft. You started the show good. You ended the show with Halo. So you ended it greatly. And then on top of that. Uh, damn, I said I was going to leave like a minute ago. Oh, let's not forget uh, there's going to be a Halo anniversary edition which is basically Halo 1 but with uh, HD makeup and uh, co-op over Xbox Live and all seven matches 
all seven uh, maps in the multiplayer will be remade. And then uh, that's funny because uh, my brother was like, "Oh, does that mean they're gonna be they're gonna make a uh, Blood Gulch HD uh, an HD map?" And then I was thinking, "Huh? So if they're gonna make the HD Blood Gulch, does that mean we can see Red vs. Blue HD episodes?" <laughs> ah, who knows? But overall, I'm, my name is King Retro. I have a sore throat. Microsoft, you guys did awesome. Thank you guys for listening. Peace out, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow for Sony. I'll see you Wednesday for Nintendo. And those will be my thoughts. That'll be the end of E3. So, peace out. Have a good summer. Peace out, everyone.